Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa bihi nasta'inu 'ala umuri dunya waddin. Wassalatu wassalamu 'ala asyrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin. Nabiyyana wa habibana Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Your excellency the all of jamaah here introduce me i'm ihya ulumuddin from indonesia we were sent to uk five people so we were spread in birmingham london bristol manchester and scotland Uh, just now we hear together about the reciting of Al Quran. Mashallah, Mashallah. Tabarakallah. <coughs> just want to share something. I think this is very important for me and for you all that everything, if there is Holy Quran beside, Inshallah, the thing will be the great. The, till, the thing will be noble really as we know that Allah sent the Holy Quran throughout Jibril so Jibril become the commandant of angels and there is special name of Jibril Ruhul Qudus so the Quran was sent to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so Muhammad become Sayyidul Anbiya wal Mursali. So Al Quran also was sent to two cities that is Makkah and Madinah. So Makkah and Madinah become holy cities in this world. So the Quran also was sent in Ramadan month. So Ramadan month become noble. Ramadan month his special night there is Laylatul Qadr Mangkana Mansoma Ramadona Imanan Wahkisaban Gufirullahu Matakodama Min Dambi and the other verse of Hadith Mangkoma Ramadona Imanan Wahkisaban Gufirullahu Matakodama Min Dambi who pray in the night of Ramadan Gufirullahu Matakodama Min Dambi so the Quran also was sent <coughs> in the day in Friday. So the Friday is Sayyidul Ayyam. We can we can think that how if the Quran beside us, maybe what we listen just now, what we hear just now, inshallah the Quran will take us to the noble, to the great life. And this maulid is a very, very, very good, very great, really. As what I was saying, read just now the Holy Quran. Yeah. In Indonesia, also, this why we are doing this maulid, and also for Indonesian people doing this maulid like like this. It's because of love. We love our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we can practice it in doing celebration of this Maulid. Why we have to love our Prophet? Because our Prophet loves us so much. Indonesia is far from Arab Saudi, the center of Islam. But many people love Indonesia love our prophet muhammad sallallahu by celebrating maulid like this muhammad is the prophet who has the noble descendant if you see just want to tell us all here the muhammad so later i will tell why islam come in indonesia so i will tell the family tree muhammad bin abdillah Bin Abdul Muttalib, Bin Hashim, Bin Abdul Manab, 
bin Qusay bin Kilab bin Murad bin Ka'ab bin Lu'ay bin Ghalib bin Fihr bin Malik bin Nadar bin Kinana bin Huzaima bin Mudrika bin Ilyas bin Mudar bin Nizar bin Ma'ad bin Adna bin Na'ad bin Udad bin Hamasha bin Salama bin Hamal bin Banad bin Idra Idra is the son of our prophet Ismail alayhi salam Ismail alayhi salam bin our prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam Ibrahim alayhi salam bin Tarakh bin Nahur bin Saro bin Argu bin Falih bin Abay Abir bin Salih bin Al Farshad bin Sham bin our prophet Nuh alayhi salam bin Lama bin Ahnu bin Idris alayhi salam bin Ilyarib bin Mehlayil bin Kinan bin Anus Anus is son of our prophet Sis alayhi salam who is Sis alayhi salam Sis alayhi salam son of the first human being in the universe Adam alayhi salam so why Islam? So also Islam come to Indonesia from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a child. One of his child is Fatima Zahra. He married with Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib. So Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib has two children, Hassan and Hussein. Hussein get married with this, the daughter of King Rustum in Persia. Has a child, Sayyid Ali Zain al Abidin. So his child, Sayyid Muhammad Bakhir. Said Muhammad Bahir, give it down, he give his sign of Islam to his son. Jabbar Sari. Said Jabbar Sari, give it down to Said Ali Uredi. Said Ali Uredi, give it down to Said Muhammad. So spread Islam out from Jazeera Arab. He has a child, Said Ubaidillah. Said Ubaidillah has a child, Said Aisha An Nakib. Said Aisha An Nakib has a child, Said Ahmad Al Muhajir. Said Ahmad Al Muhajir, give it down to his child, Said Alawi. Said Alawi, give it down to Said Muhammad. Said Muhammad, give it down to Said Alawi Muhammad. Said Alawi Muhammad, spread Islam to Asia. So has a child, Said Ali Khalil Qasam. Has a child, Said Ahmad Alawi Abdul Faqih. Has a child, Said Ahmad Sahib Bibbad. Has a child, Said Abdul Malik, who spread Islam in the Mongol, in the China. So has a child, Said Ahmad Jalaluddin, who spread Islam in Champa, Cambodia. Has a child, Said Ahmad Jalaluddin Al Husayni Al Kabir, or well known by Sheikh Jumadil Kubro, who spread Islam in Indonesia. Said Jumadil Kubro has a child, Said Maulana Ishaq. Get married with Dewi Sekar Dadu, the, the, the daughter of Minak Sembuyung has a child, Raden Ainul Yakin. Raden Ainul Yakin is one of the uh, Tis Atul Aulia, the nine Aulia who spread Islam in Indonesia. Raden Ainul Yakin. So has the second child, Raden Makdum Ibrahim. Has a child, Raden Shahid. Has a child, Mbah Chokro Joyo Sunan Gesan. Has a child, Mbah Abdul Raham, Abdul Abdul Rahman Sumbu. Has a child, Mbah Abdul Wahamid. Has a child, Kiai Jabbar. Has a child, Kiai Sofyan. Has a child, Kiai Ahmad. Has a child, Kiai Abdul Wahid. Has a child, Kiai Khairan. Has a child, Kiai Ashari. And Kiai Ashari has a child, Kiai Wahid Hashim. Kiai Hashim Ashari. Kiai Hashim Ashari is one of the 
ponder Nahdlatul Ulama in Indonesia. One the, 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 the last the largest organization of Islam in Indonesia. So Kiai Hashim Ash'ari has a child Kiai Abdul Rahman Wahid or Gustur, the fourth president of Indonesia. As a child, as a student, Kiai Said Akil Siraj, and Kiai Said Akil Siraj is my teacher. Because of love to our prophet, although our distance is very far, we always celebrate Maulid. We always salawat every day. Maybe every one of you know about this salawat. If you know, we can recite salawat, <laughs> this salawat together. Salatullah, <laughs> salamullah, ala Taha Rasulillah. Salat. Also, we have to habit salawat. Uh, we have to habit reciting salawat in our daily life because in Surah Al Anfal, the verse 34 that Allah said, "Wa ma kana Allahu liyuadibahum wa wa anta fihim wa ma kana Allahu muadibahum wa hum yastafirun." So Allah will not give the azab for for the kaum for the people. If you are Muhammad is inside inside them. Subhanallah. Means that when we recite salawat means that Muhammad is with us. So the second wa ma kana Allahu mu'adhibahum wa hum yastaghfirun. So Allah will not give the azab if the people yastaghfirun. Forgive to Allah. So that keep in our heart holy quran keep in our hearts salawat and don't forget we have to recite istighfar every day every time because rasul said aina anta min al-istighfar inni astaghfirullaha fil inni astaghfirullaha wa atubu ilayhi fil yawmi atamarrah where is your istighfar rasul said i recite istighfar and i beg to allah in a day fill you me at a marrow in a day at least a hundred times so then inshallah so i will invite you all to Indo to visit indonesia so we can see the celebration of Poly in indonesia Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.